Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Trevor Beck. Hey gang, Trevor Beck here. Today I want to talk to you about how to create a newsletter that you can merge using Google Documents. And what a better example than a Christmas newsletter. One of the things that I've always hated about those is that they're never personalized. It's never any kind of customization that's done to ensure that everyone gets something for themselves. So I've created this newsletter within a Google Doc, and you can see it's got the standard information about what's happening during the course of the year. What's really important I want to show is the fields here that we have included. Now, these different fields are going to represent information that I'm going to substitute from a spreadsheet that I'm going to use in a few minutes. And you'll notice what I've done is I've actually created the different sections, the name, a greeting where we'll have a customized greeting for that particular family, a closing, so you'll sign off, and then an actual sign off. The different fields have these names here with the two brackets on either side. And this is really important for the script that we're going to use to go in and actually substitute the information. So that's my newsletter. So within a folder, I've created the Christmas newsletter. I have the recipient's names, and this is going to contain all the contact information that we're going to substitute, and a folder called files. And this is where, when the merge is completed, the files are going to get stored. Let's look at the recipient list. So I have name, email, greeting, closing, sign off. Which when we look at the Christmas letter, is the information that we have here that's all at the double brackets. So we can see the name, the email address, which is important because this information is going to get sent out to this email address our introductory greeting, the closing after the newsletter, and how we're going to want to sign this off. In order to get the actual merge function working, we need to add a script to this. To do that, go under Tools, select Script Gallery, and you're going to search for a script called Autocrat. The first thing we do is need to install the script onto our spreadsheet. As part of the installation process, it's going to ask us to authenticate we're going to just hit continue. Here's all the permissions for authentication. We'll accept that and we can close now. So the script shows up on the menu here. We now have to actually run the configuration. Once it's done that, we'll go through the different steps to start our merge. First step, where is the template that we're going to use, the Christmas template? You can see here the different uh, areas that are going to be doing the substitution. Let's save those settings. Now it wants to know where is the actual data source because there may be a number of different sheets that you have on a spreadsheet. We're just going to use sheet one and hit save. You can go through and have merge conditions. In this case, we're not going to worry about that, so we're just going to hit submit. Autocrat wants to make sure that it's going to substitute the proper information into your template, and this is your chance to correct any mismatches that may have happened. Now, here's where we need to tell it what we want to do. By default, we need to save them all as merge documents. Because of the way that I've set up the folder, this here, Chris, uh, the newsletter recipients where the script is being run, the files is in the same directory or same folder. When we go to this step, we can select files. And that's what we want to do because all those files we're going to create are going to get saved there. Let's look at a naming convention. Something that makes sense is the name of the person that it's going to be sent to for each of the different files. How do you want to save it? You have choices of saving it as a Google Doc or a PDF. If you save it as a PDF, that means that someone's got to take the time to download that PDF, open it up, et cetera, et cetera. What I like to do is I like to save this as a Google Doc. And I want to make sure that when I look at my spreadsheet that if I want to click on the document to see how it worked out, that I can do so. We also want to email this. Here we would take information to about sending the person's name and the subject. Scroll down a little farther. You can attach a note if you wish, but you can also select how you want to send the attachment. Again, we're going to select this as recipient view only Google Doc. And we'll save our settings. Now you can do a quick preview or you can run the merge now. Let's just do a quick preview first. When it's done, we've got these links here to our document. Let's take a look at our folder structure. Go into Files, and we'll see the newsletter. And when I click on it, we can see the information has been substituted correctly. 
Now, if you use this method where you put it in a folder, the thing to remember is that when the other person receives it, we want to make sure that they can view it. By putting this information into the files folder, it does not mean they can automatically view it. So what we have to do is go in and select share. By default, the access is set to private. We want to make sure that these other users, whether they're using Google or not, can see and view the newsletter. So we'll change that so that anyone can view it. And we hit done. Now let's go back to our newsletter. So there's the information. We can see this was actually already successfully emailed to this person. Let's take a look at what that's going to look like. So here's the link that gets sent to the recipient. They can click on the newsletter. And when they do, they're taken to a view only version of the newsletter. They will only be able to see the view only version if you have set that folder for them to be able to view contents. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you'd like, you can follow me on Google Plus, Trevor Beck, or just stay tuned to the Google Guru website.